Hi uh, everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to be looking at the brand new animated short from Mihoyo for the Honkai Impact 3rd game. This is going to be Thus Spoke Apocalypse. Now, if it sounds like I have mixed feelings about that, it's because, on the one hand, that clown is the focus of the entire animation. Wonderful. On the other hand, it's nice to know I'm not actually going to be emotionally affected by this at all, because it's freaking auto. Is what I would normally say, but I made the mistake of reading a chapter and catching up on uh, Trailblazer earlier. Really great story online. That's, um, it hits you every other chapter out of over 100 chapters. Like watching Final Lesson and Everlasting Flame back to back. Over and over again. You guys know the deal? Link below, original video. Hit it up. And when you're done, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let's get started. Hmm. I know the music video for this just came out. I'll probably listen to this later. Oh, is that a crow's Wait, wait. Uh, I kind of look like... What's with the cuffs? And clips? You know, I probably should figure out what the hell is going on with Colin at this point. Because that sure is... Wait, is that Notre Dame? Okay, so I know that's Colin because I'm pretty sure by any of the storyline that involves the Hersher on, all of this was destroyed, I think? Also, really? I just ran them going to throw Notre Dame in there? They couldn't have been working on this so long that this was before it burned down. Huh. Yeah, kind of just Weird that they're just setting historical precedent. It's like, yes, it's before this time period where the actual cathedral they're basing it on doesn't actually technically exist like this anymore. As far as I know, they haven't fixed it yet. Yeah, so I'm assuming that's Colin. I know she died somehow, but the thing is, and this is going to probably be an issue, I don't know how she died or anything around. I just know it drove Otto crazier. I know enough about him to know that the er is important because he was cray-cray to start with. Also, was a good guy. I saw the retrospective of his history, and it's weird. I don't know how to feel. Wait, was she... What? Is this like the imaginary plane? Hey, Otto's beat up. I like this already. Are those his footprints? Whoa. Kind of looks like a tree. Oh, must red sand golems? Oh, they're him. <laughs> what? Wait, is that the... Oh, that's one of the divine keys, isn't it? Shamash? What? Oh, it's flashing... Ooh. Okay, this is actually something I just noticed this time around. Like, here, this is very much cel-shaded. Uh, like, it's technically could count as CG, but it, it's very much the anime aesthetic. But then you're here, and it's very much 3D aesthetic. Oh! Like, this looks like something of the other animations. If anything, it's, like, less polished than normal, but very clean and very cool. Oh, sorry, just, I, I love how they're actually varying the animation styles. And they actually changed it. It wasn't actually the flame that did the animation change. It was right here when you see the hand and as soon as it goes here this is still 3d this is all 3d but then this is actually the point where the animation style changes it's when you're looking directly as his hair is covering his eyes and he looks up this is actually a different animation style and it's going to match what they did here that's actually a great transition that they pre-transition into it shit they fucking executed colin what the actual fuck I only know her from, like, the extras you get that I never use anymore, because, you know, her sure Flame Scion. You can take that over every other... Like, anything, really. Why is he fighting his clone? Slash doppelgangers? Slash golems? What the actual hell? Who am I rooting for? Oh, damn, he's actually a fighter. I don't like liking that. And the sword broke. Wait, what? 
Is he being taken over? Wait, so what's happening to him is what happened to this? Is that Oh, it's a spe it's Durandal's spear. So he doesn't actually have the... He has... He's using all... What? That's... He's using all the different divine keys. How? It's probably something to talk But like, you could see it... But I thought Honkai corruption looked different. What? What is he doing? Oh, that is a lot of him. Oh, they're literally World War Z. And... Well... Wait, what? A Honkai beast? It's the same one! But this one's flat out a Honkai beast, I recognize it. Oh, so she didn't let them kill her. And she literally could save herself. Yeah, it's the same one. Again, I love the sh like the change in media, like between full 3D, like here, and the more traditional animated style. Even if it is computer generated, it's still very CG. It, just, it, it looks so different, but it also just highlights. She fought the white variation. It's the same basic model. Hers is smaller. Teresa's model, or the her. Damn, I'm doing for honor. <laughs> Is he fighting? This is the imaginary one, right? I need to get further in the game. That was literally him. Oh, and you could just see his hands getting taken over with the same stuff that ate his others. Or made up his others. Wait. Oh, there's the beast again. Wait, what? Wait, they're the same? Oh! Oh shit, I don't... Why do... No, don't make me like Otto! He's actually being cool. Why did you like that? Oh, no, 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 no. What is going on? Seriously, I'm seeing so many parallels with the game. He just... Also, love the music. That looks like Romeo was trying to save Sin. Seriously, if they're trying to hint at Gen... Seriously, if they're not connecting Genshin here... I really wish I had subtitles on, but honestly, I just cannot read fast enough and focus on this. I mean, I could pause every time, but even I would find that too slow. Sorry, just... If they're not highlighting the parallels between Genshin and Honkai right now, I don't know what is. Mostly, it's the freaking tree, man! Especially since every goddamn thing with Resin and Genshin is about that tree. And they're, they, I thought it was kind of just like it, but it's, maybe it's just because it's the same stylistic choice. But here, when they expand it to the entire tree, I'm just going, there is no way they would ever do something that blatantly obvious without it being intentional. Unless it's just a random shadow because they just want to reuse materials, which they've done with, you know, Kana. Uh, not Kana. Sorry, watching Dragon Maid earlier. But with freaking anything named Kazlan. <laughs> What? Wait, why did it just pause? What? What did he... Wait, that's the same color... Did he just... What did he just do, Otto? So this is how she originally died. Saving someone, but... Like, she didn't have a... Wait, did he just... People have mentioned this is multiversal. You just go to a different... Universe with a different time? Or did he go back in time? Oh. Oh, 
Oh, shit. He's dying. But wait, how? Is this like an alternate auto? Okay, seriously, there's so many things flashing here. Oh. Oh, her hair changed color. So there's her. Her as a kid. And Wait. Wait, 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 that, that, oh, that was Otto! Oh, that's Otto as a kid, holy shit, I thought that was her with yellow hair. Hot damn. Oh god, that looks so much like Kiana, it's not even funny. I mean, you know, family and maybe Otto fucking around with the genetics. I don't know if he did, I mean, for, con you know, for, you know, Artuna, it definitely is fucking around with the genetics because she's a literal clone, but... I this is I don't I thought that was more Therese who's a literal clone and well she's a different clone but still yeah family's weird with clones involved it just it's so happy I'm not used to seeing anyone this happy in Honkai it's his memories wait why is he fading into light did you just burn up. He just killed the beast that killed her. Wait, what does that say? I should have turned this on a while ago. Oh, it's his memories. Oh. So if I'm understanding this right, I'm assuming that was not the imaginary one, but maybe the quantum realm? And he literally accessed an alternate past? Or is it his past? I don't actually know. And it's his memories here of her going away and literally the light turning off. So he knew her since she was a kid. I mean, I know his entire thing is he's... Oh, and this is what actually happened to him. All the... Oh. Oh, so this is... I don't know when this is. I probably would find out. But I think I recognize what happens next. This one... This is all the biological experiments. So that might even be too recent. Oh, no, no, that's a horn. Who was that? That's just probably one of the experiments that failed. And Otto very much wrapped up in... Otto... And this is him in... Wait, is that... I think I... I think I remember this character in... Uh, some of Fu Ha's backstory. That, is that Fu Ha? I don't actually know. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is Otto's interactions. I think that's... Welt. Kiana? No, that's Teresa. Just to this kid. What? No, that. No. Oh, wait. That's. What the? Oh God, we're seeing everything from his perspective. Holy. I don't even. Wait, this is him stabbing himself. And this is probably Teresa in that point then, because her turning around, realizing one of them didn't die like all the others had. I remember I played her little story quest, like that little moment of hope where she actually woke up. Meteoric salvation. He was freaking watching it. And who is that? With the white hair? He was literally watching it the entire time. Of course he was. Auto in heaven. Wait, what's with the tree branches? God, I need to catch up. It's so small in his head. Because he grew up. The symbolism of the flying ornithopter landing after it was flying the entire time, and he just looks to the stars. That's beautiful. Back to the tree. It's them as kids again. They were childhood friends. Huh. Because of the houses, of course. They were always intertwined. Huh. 
How many companies were involved in this? I should have put the English subtitles on. I want to know what's going on. I think I have an idea what happened, but dear God, there's so much. Hot damn. So, God damn. I mean, I know it was slightly joking earlier about liking Otto after this, and I mean, I still think he's an absolute horrible person, but even I know what it means to him to save Colin, any version of her. And like, you could see, like, you even saw her get stabbed, and he literally just turned back reality for a second. He literally burned up in the process to save her, and that's... That's literally the same thing Kiana and May and everyone was doing, just saving someone they loved. And I, God, no, I'm not going to cry. God damn it. I am not tearing up. I will not tear up. Not for him. Not even if he honestly seems a lot cooler and getting to finally succeed in saving her, even though it cost him literally everything. I, I, I know there was something with clones. Oh, God. I, I need to catch up to find out what's going on. I, I want to know how he was able to recreate all those weapons because I remember seeing the golden gun when he shot Fuha in, in I think it was chapter 9 or 8 in the, chapter 9. I, I, I want to know what's going on. I actually want to figure out what this goddamn clown is doing and I don't understand. Like, I thought this might be spoilers, but the thing is, I, I don't have the context. I know why it's important. I know why him being able to save Colin in any way, shape, or form is massive. Also, it literally just occurred to me, he entered the entire world like a wish from Genshin Impact. I gotta stop seeing similarities. Although, that probably was intentional. I'm not going to think about it because that way it gets into a lot of heavy conspiracy theories, which may or may not be accurate. Got to wait for Genjin to catch up and become a lot more depressing before that catches up. Yeah, we're going to pretend it still could have a happy ending. Or happy middle. Or any happy. Let's just pretend for now. I'm looking at you and Ancona Mia. So yeah, that was Mihoyo making me actually like Otto. Okay, that happened. Like, unironically, I actually cared about Otto and wanted him to succeed, and I cared what was going on, and I... How the hell did they do that? Brilliant technique in the animation, in the changes of style, in switching off animation seamlessly in such a way that you didn't actually notice it because they were pre-transferring style before switching scenes and... It was beautifully done how they interwove the two different, I'm going with timelines, universes, one of those things. I... And the music is just the right kind of sad, beautiful tone that honestly I kind of just attribute to the best songs from Honkai, but I'm sorry, I'm still hung up on basically Otto's entire near immortal existence succeeding at it. But I have no idea what was going on. Like, he was being consumed by whatever had made those clones of him that just kind of spawned out of the red dust, which I'm assuming are just his shades. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what's going on. I need to find out. And I want to find out. I, I, I need to start streaming this game again. I need to get in. I just need to catch up. So for everyone watching, and for everyone who let me know this came out, thank you. I'm going to go probably rewatch this with the subtitles on because I, I need to get context. Hell, I'll probably watch it a dozen more times because I, I just do that. I like the animations, but god damn. It's like being in shock. I don't... It just... Yeah, it's like being in shock. So for everyone watching, thanks. You guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. And when you're done, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.